Hey everyone, welcome back to another Serpents 3 intro video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the split node, so let's jump right in. So a split node allows you to take two items on an interface. So I've got an add menu here, up here in the 3D viewport header. And as I connect two items, it will split the dedicated space for those items and allow a factor to show one over the other. You basically split the space and determine how much space you want to give to both items. Now this node operates a lot like the row and column node. So you have an align, when you click that, the two items hug together. You can set alert for some of the items that can be tied to the node. So if I added in a label, and decided to change this, I could have a red label with the alert. Enabled allows the node to be on or off. Active is a really unique feature that's going to be coming in a soon to be released version of Serpents. And active allows you to display whether the item is active or not, but it still allows you to adjust it. And so you would combine this UI feature with your code. So as you're adjusting a property, um, you would set whatever's gonna set the Boolean for active and then set it for the property as well. And it just lets the person know that you can make adjustments, but it won't be active until some condition is met. And that applies to a lot of things in the UI um, that Blender does. So this is gonna be a cool feature, but you have to use it with care so that you can uh, not confuse your users. Split layout, this will be used for when you have properties with labels. So turning that on and off will give a split providing for both of the labels with their properties. And then decorate allows you to animate. You have to use both split and decorate together. And then scale allows you to scale the space that both of the properties or display items are going to be taking up. Both the X and the Y. Let's go to uh, another example here, something a little more complex. So I've got, I mean, I've got the same properties here on my end panel and we're going to enable it and go active. And I need to set these active here. When I do anything, enabled will work and so does the active for these items. But because I have a split with some column nodes and then additional elements downstream, some things downstream are going to be working on top of whatever you have in the split node. So the split layout and decorate layout doesn't affect anything since these are columns downstream, but downstream of the columns, I have properties. So I can split and decorate the layout on those properties within the column. What's nice about this is you can set alignment. So alignment by itself with nothing downstream being aligned isn't going to align. But if I align these columns first, and then I align that, the alignment joins together across the elements downstream. But the factor still works, so I can set the factor between two sets of columns of nodes. Now I've got some properties here that are set to scale um, items within a certain range, and I'll be talking about certain properties in a future video. And then I've got just some material colors off of the BSDF nodes for a blue material and a pink material. You can get those by just right-clicking, getting Serpent's property, and Shift-V to paste it and plug it in. You can also get the exact same property default value off of the base color by going to your blend data browser, clicking on data, you can filter for materials, and then just navigate down through your material node tree until you get to your principal BSDF node and base color, and then you have your default value. And this would paste in the same exact tag. You just change the input, giving it the name by default. You can change that to index if you'd like. Or if you're looping, you can get it the direct access to the property. And it makes it nice for when you want your layout to be split. And you don't want to provide nearly enough room for the left items. You want more room for the right items. You can totally adjust that. It allows you to have access to your properties. And having the alignment set on them allows you to adjust two at once, which is nice. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you on the next one. 